Today I'm going to be filming my November favorites and I didn't get a chance to do my October favorites because October was just a really crazy, hectic month. But before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I made an Instagram and I would appreciate it so much if you guys go and follow me there and I will follow you guys back. Um, my username um, is Think Beauty Within. And yeah, I would love your support over there, so go follow me, and I will follow you guys back, and we can be connected through that, and it would be a lot of fun. So yeah, go follow me. Alright, now let's not waste any more time, and let's get into the favorite. I guess we'll start off with hair. The first thing I want to show are my shampoo and conditioner that I have been using and loving. Um... This is the Riveting Reds Shampoo, and then I've been combining it with the John Frieda Radiant Red Color Protecting Conditioner. I, obviously, I have red hair, and I need to do the best that I can to maintain the longevity of my hair color. Um, so I've been on the search for, like, red shampoos and different kinds of hair care um, that is going to protect the color of my hair um, for as long as it can. So first I tried off this line and to be honest I don't like the shampoo but I do like the conditioner um, which is this one right here because I feel like it really helps to condition my hair and my hair doesn't feel like damaged or anything and I've already dyed my hair red a few times. Um, I think I've done it like three times. Um, so yeah, this has helped me condition my hair and just, it's really good. And then this is the Riveting Reds Shampoo. Um, I got this at Sally's. The shampoo is like a really dark red color. Like some of it got on my finger right there, as you can see. And yeah, it's a really dark red color and it I feel like it does deposit some red back into my hair. Um, so that's nice, and it also really cleans my hair without, like, stripping too much color out of it. So I really like that as well. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it has sulfates in it, um, which if you color your hair, it's kind of best to stay away from shampoo that has sulfate in it because that's what's going to, like, strip the color out of your hair. So... If you know any like red shampoos that don't have any sulfates in it, definitely let me know because I'm still on the hunt for one. The next one I want to show is a dry shampoo. This is from Dove. I've talked about this before. It's the most amazing dry shampoo. It's my favorite and I have tried a lot of dry shampoos. I really like the way this cleans my hair and it just takes away the grease and the oil and I'm able to like not wash my hair for that many days um, because of this. Let's go ahead and move on to makeup. Um, okay, I've been loving the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. I got this as a gift for my birthday. Whoops, I almost dropped it. Um, yeah, I got this as a gift for my birthday from my boyfriend. And oh my gosh, I am obsessed. This palette is limited edition. So if you have not gotten this palette yet, definitely go get it. It's so worth it. The colors are just beautiful. This is what all the colors look like and I think they're just gorgeous and they're perfect for the holidays because they have some like, like look at this green color right here. That is so beautiful. And then the purple, the blues, and then you have like neutral colors as well. That So oh my gosh, I think this is like the perfect palette for like nice holiday like smoky looks or even like any other day really when you just want to do like a like, I don't know, there's just, it's so versatile, and I've been using it every single day, like, I haven't used any of my other palettes, because I've just been using this one every day, and I've been obsessed, and I love it, and I want to do some, um, tutorials with it, so if you would like that, let me know, and oh my gosh, this would be a really good gift for someone for Christmas. The next, um, makeup item that I have been using so much and been loving is the famous CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This is everything that everyone has been saying it is. It's amazing. It lasts 
all day long, which is what, like, won me over because I, um, if you watched my 50 random facts about me tag, which if you haven't watched it already, go watch it because I went through so much trouble to edit that because for some reason my computer was, like, acting up and it was just, oh, it was so annoying. But go watch it because I worked really hard on it and it would just mean a lot to me if you go watch it and thumbs it up and everything. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, so if you watch that, then you know that I got a new job. Um, I'm working for a school, but I got promoted to like, uh, like another position at the school. And so now instead of starting my days at 2 in the afternoon, I start my days at 8 in the morning. So I have been using this foundation and it's been lasting me all day long which is awesome because when you start your days early in the morning you want something that's going to last you like as long as it can um and that's what I mainly love about this the coverage is really awesome you can build it up to a really like full coverage if that's what you're into and the color I'm in is in creamy natural and it is a little bit light for me but I did that on purpose because this does oxidize to apply that, this is another favorite, um, this is a Real Technique sponge and it's like supposed to be a dupe um, for the Beauty Blender. I love this, it works so well. It has like a flat top right here which is good um, for when like just patting the foundation all over your face. These two together apply so well and you get like a really flawless look. I think I'm going to do a whole separate like review or foundation routine type video um, with these two as the stars of that video so make sure to look out for that. Okay and then I've also been loving this blush right here. This is from Milani. It's the first Milani blush I've ever tried um, and this is in the shade Fantastico Mauve. It's a really nice like dark berry slash plum color. It, it looks really dark and it does look kind of like scary, but it's not. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and it's like, I don't know, it's just like a really nice flush of color and I think it's perfect for the fall time. Okay, this is a lipstick also from Milani and oh my goodness, if you do not have this lipstick, go get it because it is gorgeous. It is in Sangria and I think this is this one's like pretty popular but it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a beautiful dark like raspberry plum color but what I love about it is that you can make it like sheer so it's not like so dramatic like this and just have it be like a nice like raspberry wash of color or you can deepen it up so that it looks like that. I love it. It lasts on the lips for such a long time. It's a beautiful color, especially for this time of year. Okay, now I'm going to move on to nail polish favorites. Um, I'll start off with the one that I'm wearing on my nails right now. This is from Revlon Color Stay in San Bold Sangria. It's just a really dark, um, like, purple color, almost black. I think I've mentioned this in favorites before. And then I have Essie's Bahama Mama, which is my first Essie nail polish that I've ever owned. And I just had to get it because it's seriously like a gorgeous, beautiful color. And it's just a nice, like, I don't know, raspberry color. As you can see, I'm really into raspberry things. Um, these two are kind of similar, but Bold Sangria is darker and yeah so I've been wearing those I've been switching off between those two and then also this one right here which is also from Revlon Color Stay and this is in Rainforest it's a really like it's a dark green but it has sparkle in it and it's really beautiful when the light hits it okay so now I have two random things kind of um this is a deodorant this is from degree and it's a men's deodorant and i'm so happy i purchased this because it smells really good it's not like a feminine floral scent obviously because it's a men's deodorant but i love the smell of men's deodorant and i've noticed that this has 
worked so much better than how women's deodorant works. Like this lasts a really long time and I don't have to worry about smelling or having any kind of like BO so I've really loved. And then the last favorite that I have to show you guys is a candle of course. But there's so many reasons why I love this candle. First of all, this is cheap. It was only $5 at Walmart. And so you cannot beat that. I mean, look it. It looks like a Bath & Body Works candle. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. It smells... Okay, I didn't even tell you guys what this is called. This is called Under the Mistletoe. And it smells like a Christmas tree. That's what it smells like to me. Like pines you know like a Christmas tree and oh my gosh it just smells so good I've been burning it a lot as you can see I'm pretty much like almost um, halfway and I've just been burning this every second that I can and it fills my whole room with the scent which I was surprised because I was like five dollars I don't know how well it's going to like fill up the room with the smell but I'll try it out anyway and I'm so glad I did because it really like it's such good a good quality candle for only being five dollars at Walmart and who would have ever thought so and it is it does have three wicks so I really like that as well those were all of my favorites I hope that this video won't be too long but hopefully you guys like favorites videos and you won't mind and hopefully you like to hear me talk so that you won't mind either um leave me requests down below in the comments oh by the way um comments if you it's it's weird like now that youtube has changed into like or i don't know what's going on with youtube like the whole google plus thing but i think in order for me to reply to you guys in comments um i think you have to change your account to google plus that way i can reply to you so if you haven't received a reply from me it's not because I choose not to because you guys know I'm always replying to you guys. Um, it's because I can't. Like, there's no option for me to reply because you're not on Google Plus yet. I think that's how it works. Other than that, that's it. I will leave you guys alone. <laughs> and, um, yeah, go follow me, like I said, on Instagram. Also, go follow me on Twitter and everything like that. So, I will see you guys all in my next video. I hope you guys had, oh my gosh, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for you guys. Ah, I want to give you guys a hug because I'm so thankful for your support. You guys are awesome. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!